Hi, I'm Kyle Green with the Greenway Outdoors, and today I'm gonna to teach you the basics on everything you need to know when it comes to an auto-loading shotgun. Step one, whenever you're going to be shooting firearms, it's important to have safety glasses as well as ear protection. This will keep your ears lasting a long time so you'll be able to hear well into your 80s. Now another very important thing that you need to know whenever handling a firearm is to know where this muzzle is pointed. You always treat a gun as if it's loaded, even when the action's open and it's not. You always want to practice gun safety. You either want to point it at the sky, down at the ground, but never at anybody else or any target that you don't intend on shooting at. Now a semi-auto shotgun is very cool, but it's not always budget friendly. They typically are on the more expensive side of the shotgun budget range. However, there's a reason for that. A lot of bang for the buck. When you fire a semi-auto shotgun, the force from your shot will automatically eject your spent shot shell cartridge. When that ejects, the next one will automatically be loaded in. This happens faster than you could even pull the trigger, which means that when you're aiming at a target, you can shoot and continuously shoot at the target until you fire all three rounds that are in your gun. Now that we've gone over the basics on how the semi-auto shotgun works, the very important part that you need to know is the safety. First thing you do when you receive a gun from anybody is to check and make sure it's not loaded and that the safety is on. For this model, the Weatherby 18i, the safety happens to be just behind the trigger. You'll click this here, red means fire, black means safe. So you always want to keep it on safe. For other models, you could find that they're in different spots. A lot of them also have a thumb push right here above the stock. The next step is I'm going to show you how to load your shotgun. Again, always making sure the safety is on and it's pointed in the right direction. You'll take your first shot shell and put it directly into the tube. Then I'm going to close the chamber by pressing that button. Now normally the button will be right here, it'll close the chamber and lock in that first load. Now if you want to shoot, shoot with multiple rounds, you'll flip the gun over and you'll see a feeding mechanism right here. You put the shot shell right here into there and slide it forward and it will click. Now this gun can hold up to three shotgun cartridges because there is a plug in it. Most guns come standard with a plug already put in the gun only allowing three shots. In many areas, waterfowl hunting and many other different forms of hunting, you are limited to only three shot shells in your gun. Now you can take that plug out and use it for other instances, such as in South Dakota, you're allowed to hunt snow geese with unlimited amounts of rounds in your shotgun. Therefore, in that area, you can take the plug out, but you always wanna make sure it's in when hunting. It is the law, so you can't just walk around with only three shot shells in without a plug in. You have to have the plug and the three shot shells in in order to be legal. Now when you're ready to fire your gun, you're going to look down the barrel of your gun using your sight at the end. Your sight is a great guide and you'll want to put your target just above that sight for something flying straight in or straight away from you. For those of you scared of kick with a shotgun, the firmer it is to your body, the less kick you're going to feel. Now when you're done firing your three shots, you'll notice that your chamber stays open. The reason for this is so that you can easily load in the next round and it notifies you that you are on empty. So that's the basics of an auto-loading shotgun. One more thing I wanted to tell you before I go is about choke tubes. So you'll receive multiple choke tubes with almost any shotgun purchase. This Weatherby 18i came with five of them. It's important to understand the difference with a choke tube. It starts with cylinder and then goes to improved cylinder modified, improved modified, and full choke. And there's even more denser turkey chokes. So in that instance, I started with cylinder. That is the most open shot used for close range, meaning your spread of your projectiles will be more open. It's not as effective at longer distances. As you move to improved cylinder, you get slightly more distance and a slightly denser, smaller spread. As you go to modified, even smaller. For most hunting, a lot of people like to use improved cylinder or modified when upland hunting. So just keep that in mind, do your research, and look at our other videos on choke tubes. Now that you know the basics of an auto-loading shotgun, I'm going to show you how to unload it and then let you get back to shooting. First step when unloading your auto-loading shotgun, I have three rounds in this gun, so we're done hunting and we didn't get to fire any shots. I'm going to open 
that one and it's going to expel the first shot shell. Then it will close automatically. Down here, normally you'll see a red dot on this release. It's normally located right here. I'm going to click that. That is going to engage so that the next shot shell can be fed into the chamber. Now I'm going to eject that one. So let it close again, press it again, pull this down, not shot shell is engaged, and then I open that one. Now I can see, click it one last time, and that'll hold the chamber open. Now I can see here a red circle indicating, and all guns are different, so they have different colors, but indicating that that is empty. I can see that my chamber is empty, there's nothing in the muzzle, and it's clear and done. My safety is on, and I'm free to put it in my gun case. Now that you know the basics of an auto-loading shotgun, get out there and have some fun. I'm Kyle Green. Stay green.